this one just bust me out. I mean, bust me out. Oh, oh, how you gonna talk about women that way? Baby, you doing a good job. Thank you. Do your job. Boy, you, you, hey, don't make me run from you. Don't I do it? Yeah, I'm oh, I'm running for mama. Oh, mama ain't no joke. I told you she done knocked me out one time. I don't even know how I end up out there in the yard cutting the grass. <laughs> but uh, how hard is it for, you know, single women and young, raising two? Young single women. She ain't that young. She's young. How old is you? 25. She's young. Hold on. Let me make sure your mic is working because I don't think your mic working the way I want it to work. Yeah, you okay. can have my mic. Yeah, I'm trying to figure this thing out because I want her mouth. I want her mic to work just fine. Tap that thing. Pack, pack, pack. Yeah, Say something for me. Say something, baby. Funny. <laughs> okay, I can hear you now. <laughs> I know that you have two sons. Yep. And you're working on raising them. Also a daughter that I call Lady. That's my little lady there. Um, and we got baby Zay and we got Giovanni mm -hmm. and these little boys are being raised by their mother and you are a young mother and is it is it hard for you to raise them man is it <laughs> it's really really hard um, especially you know working two jobs and still trying to be a mother to your kids you know um, actually being able to have that time to mother them and also teach them you know right from wrong mm -hmm. and how to grow up to be a strong black man and right. a strong black woman right you know um they're still young you know um <laughs> precious they want to be and, and finna move near near us I, I thank god for that because i prayed about that one i want them to move near where we was at because I do. I take. I help her with the kids, and she helps me with my kids too. I want y'all to understand what this woman has went through. We have a woman that now um, she is twenty five. Twenty. I'll be twenty six. Twenty six this year. That's right. That started with nothing. Ended up, you know, having a first child, and then a second child, and then a third child, where she had to go from just running around to grounding herself which I'm very proud of her because she grounded herself. She's working two jobs. Y'all, listen to this. She matured in less than two seconds, y'all. This woman works two jobs. Anytime she called me and said, can you keep the kids? I bet you, yeah, I got you. I got you. Bring them on over. And her children do actually call me father or daddy, but that's because I've been there. It's not because that's what they did. Somebody made them do it. That's just what they do. Um, she is raising these kids. And she about six seven. She about six seven. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, she's a big old tall woman. Tear you up. You didn't know that. That's Amazon, sweetie. Thank you. There's not no Get Amazon. Right. Get it right. Amazon. Get it right. There ain't no. That she can use a weapon. <laughs> I'm, I'm, look, I'm brother. <laughs> you find a woman that tall, run. Oh. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. And um, like, I know that Kim. And. These, um, I mean, this this is hard for women. It's it's like I know that that you don't get a chance to spend the time that you need to spend because you're trying to make your money. Mm -hmm. You know, does that take a toll on you? Do you feel like you're missing something sometimes? Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, I looked at Baby Zay about a few days ago and I saw how tall he has gotten, mm -hmm. and you know his clothes barely fit him. Yeah. And same thing with Lady and Giovanni. You know, I feel like I'm missing out on a whole lot. You know, and it hurts me every day, but I have to suck it up and deal with it because I have to be able to provide for my kids. Right. And things are going to get better. Yeah. Right. And staying positive is one of the biggest things that's actually a hard thing to do. You know, because you're always going to run into brick walls everywhere you go. Yeah. And, you know, I feel like every brick wall that you have to face is not going to do anything but make you stronger. Absolutely. If it don't kill you, on the serious yes, side, it, it, it will. Kill you. It, it, it's going to make you stronger. Yes. You know, I mean, we have help within our family. Uh, it's taken us a while to get here, but we have help. Mm -hmm. And I, I told you, I thank you for your help. You know, anytime <laughs> I call you, you help me. My mother helps me. And that's what families do. And it takes a village sometimes to raise kids. And I'm going to get Zay this weekend because it's, it's time. I'm tired of diapers, man. 
Please do. <laughs> it's on. I, it's on and popping next weekend. Next time I get them, it's over. I, I, we got to get rid of these diapers, man. Please do. But, you know, it's hard to potty train a child when you're not there the whole time, which I understand. And you being a single mother, yeah, it's hard. I mean, I mean, yeah, it took me a weekend to train my children, but I was there for the whole weekend. Mm -hmm. And then in the middle of the week, I whipped that bed out too. Hey, look here. You're going to learn to use this bathroom up in here. I'm, I'm done with these diapers. So that was that's my next project actually anyway because I, I don't the boy smell like me. <laughs> yeah, and you, you. Yeah. Uh, uh huh. You smell like a grandpa. I know. Exactly. Uh, I gotta take care of that. That 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 can't happen no more. Yeah. Um, what about like the dating thing? Wow. <laughs> um, actually, I'm 25 years old, going on 26. Never been asked out on a date. Hung out. Ended up with three kids none of their dads in their lives you know and as far as dating goes you know on my weekend that I don't have the kids I'm pretty much at the house would I like what? to go out yeah but I'm pretty much at the house watching movies cleaning up doing everything I gotta do why because you don't have time that and it's not a big priority wow it is not a big priority wow I told y'all she done grew up a little bit <laughs> I'm telling you that woman I growed up. <laughs> and the reason why I asked her on the program is because I've seen, um, I've watched her since high school, you know, go from point A to point B. And oh, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she got secrets on me that I can't tell everybody. But this is my, yeah, yeah, no, I ain't going through all that. But it's somebody I actually respect. And for a short minute, you know, everybody thought that Octavia would not do well. Yep. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Everybody. And they was like, Marcus, you crazy. You, you you don't want to help her? I was like, no. You can help her all day long, and she won't do well until she has to do it. And as soon as that day happened, she took off, y'all. She took off and got two jobs, car paid. Is the car paid for? Yes, it is. And paid for debt free. It's called Woman Up. Yes. Woman Up. What? I she knew she would. matured from a child to an adult. And see, exactly. I, I'm lucky I couldn't get my mother-in-law in here because she'd have told you. <laughs> she done changed. That woman, woman I know up. She's changed since I've known her. That's right. She's changed to, to, to a grown. You even wash your face different. Ass <laughs> woman. Yes, you did. You, you, you changed. You make some women at forty years old, thirty some years old. That haven't matured. That haven't matured. Yeah, please be careful to add the mature and the adult, <laughs> because there are I'll a lot of women damn. out there that have not gone into, gone through the phase. They have not gone through their rite of passage. Well, when the hell everybody going to go through their rite of passage? Because when you go through that rite of passage, you recognize that you can do this. Yeah. Oh, okay. You can okay. do this. Okay. And so. the same thing goes for men. Men have these great, I don't know, uh, go hang off a cliff, swing, stupid. We got to let them nuts and hang. There are women who do that. I don't give a dang. I'm just not going to care about myself or anybody else. Right. And then they go through that rite of passage where they... Um, where they have to deal with the fact that there is a life beyond themselves. Hold on, we got a caller. <laughs> Must you roll your eyes? Yes, caller. Hello. Yes, you're you're, you're yes. on the hair. I have a question for your guest caller, for your guest <laughs> man. Um, you say that um you don't have time for a relationship. Um, is that something that you would want to do later on? You know, is that is that? Oh, she wants some nerves, right now. I'm, not, I'm asking the young she, lady. She's not talking to you. She's not talking to you. You know, is that something that she wants later on in her future? Do you want to get married? Do you want to, you know, what what is it that you want for yourself now? Right now, I want to be a mother to my kids and start my own family. As far as dating, I mean, I do, I do. I don't, I don't. <laughs> I mean, do you want to get married? Is oh, that yes. in the no future who, for you? Or is that who in the world would not? Well, let, let me retract that statement. Yes, I would like to get married eventually. Yeah, He's going to have to be a tall <laughs> brother. I say because if, I ever, if my husband ever leaves this earth, I ain't getting married no more. That's mm -hmm. Look, I ain't getting married no more. I don't know what you're talking about. That's some rough <laughs> stuff there. Yep. All right. That is some rough <laughs> stuff there. Yeah. But I'm saying that every young woman should have that desire is that the question exactly. that you're really asking 
caller. Well, I think it's a very good thing that you have just turned yourself completely around. I mean, you just look so beautiful, and you're a great young lady, and you're not, you are one of Get out my phone. Really <laughs> Love What's you. wrong with you? Love you, dude. Love you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. What the hell? Yes. He's going to try to change her voice like she was white. <laughs> she black as all get out. I tell you. Don Royce, I have to say one thing. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't hug up on her. Okay. I, I, I know you're still listening. So <laughs> I'm just going to say this one thing. You have trained your husband well. Yes, ma'am. And I have to say that uh, Marcus has trained his wife well because y'all yes. have learned to work together. Oh, hold on, hold on. Why she got to come first and not train me first? <laughs> because I'm That's what I need first. to know. Ladies are first. Get it right. Ladies are first. Ladies first. Ladies first. What, what, yeah. I'm older, so I get to go any way yeah. I want. <laughs> you don't use the age. Of I, hey, I'm older. And as an old woman. I get to say it any way I want to. Yeah, she's and pulling so the age card on you. Um, it's not putting women over men. Mm -hmm. It is that since I am a woman, I come from a woman's perspective. Right, and right. And that's what you have to honor. Oh, okay, now me and I'm going to show y'all a little something that y'all need to, to learn. Your, Watch this. Theme. I'm just going to shut up. You need to, you need to <laughs> trade your theme. Your theme about that man. And you got to look dead at him now. Okay, and when you do, then you understand this. Therefore, a woman runs the gauntlet and makes the way for a man to be a man. Can, uh, can, can I talk now? Woo, preach, preach. Yes. You, you see how, you, <laughs> that, you yeah. get lower. <laughs> you can talk now, my baby. I, 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 I can. You sure? Mm, positive. Okay. Uh, if any man don't know how to fight a woman, grab your hat and run. That's the only way you're going to win now. Exactly. Annette, shut up. It's easy. You shut up. Mommy, can I? Okay, see, you got to get permission. So I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man, Mama got a right hook that ain't no joke. But uh, we we gonna talk about the young woman. I tell the world about I'm telling you, you don't need, you look, you ain't gonna even see it coming. You just see it leaving. Streaks off the pinky. I'm telling you, knock your tail. Out. Woman. What? No, you know nobody want to come to my kids. You were violent <laughs> as hell when I was growing up. <laughs> hey, she probably needed to be because if she wasn't, then would you actually Shoot. be the person you are now? No, I would not be. All and right, my now, mother taught me how to fight. I'm telling you. Very girly girl. Okay. But Randy can scrap. That, yeah. Well, she got that. Honest. I'm telling you. <laughs> she got that honest. She Every time that. I went to help Randy, the people that she was whooping need to help. Yeah, but she's more girly girl than I am. Yeah, yeah, and, she is. Uh, a lot of her senses and sensibilities. Oh, Rainy is my sister. Father. Rainy and Randolph, so, that's my sister. Yeah, and so my beloved. She is. Um, she's very, very beautiful and very girly girl. Where her mother is not. I'd rather have strap on a belt with some tools on it than to go to the mall. You remember oh, you used to yeah. beat me running? Oh yes, yes. You remember you used to beat me running? That's me. Okay. LeBron top hits. L.A. y'all. That's what that's. What, <laughs> I grew up in L.A. pretty much. We get to La Brea Top Hits, and my mama would dust me. How you going to dust your son and run it? Like, that's, that's bad for a little young man's libido. Okay, you're messing up my life that I don't run. Huh? I don't. Man, mama can run. I'm telling you, you hit a little feet. she take her shoes off and tear your tail up like you weren't even there. I'm telling you, then look back at you and laugh. That was more bull. Yes. What has that got to do about a woman raising boys? I'm just letting them know, know what like kind of woman raised me. Okay. I'm letting the one. I'm letting them know what kind of woman raised me. A strong, a black, strong woman. black woman. Number one. Now make sure you understand this woe man. I know what a woe man is. Okay. Y'all didn't get the woe. You didn't get the woe before you got the man. <laughs> okay. Okay like then. Oh. Uh, I want people. But well, see, I want people to understand how I was raised. Yeah. My mother was different. My mother was strong. My mother would kick your tail in everything. I ain't talking about just running. She'd kick your tail in everything. I you... didn't beat you in the joke days. Well, no, I got you on that one. <laughs> but you started. You started the joke week, and you got exactly what you deserved. Man, you coming in that house, boy, tired from work. Mama coming in, just tired from work. She barely walked up to the steps. 
And I had a bucket of water sitting over top of the, <laughs> <laughs> on top of the door. She came in and out, and she won't hurt me, but she started it. <laughs> I know now she won't hurt me now that I'm a parent. I know now my mother wanted to kill me yeah. that day. I'm, 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 I'm going to give it to you and her, her like, oh, I just want to kill this. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> She came in that house with all her bags and everything. I got through the anger. We did yeah. laugh. Yeah. <laughs> she came in the door. I yo was splash splash. <laughs> and she wanted to cuss, but she couldn't because she started that week. She said it's going to be drunk week. She had splashed me. I mean, some ice cold water. I'm sitting there. That was the one and only. Yeah, we ain't had no more of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I had some fun. Growing up, y'all. Lord, I'm in here tear. <laughs> but she's that water splashed on her. And it's, uh, we, joke week wasn't over for a couple more days. When she came to the room, joke week is over. <laughs> for I had to kill one of y'all. Okay. See, so you say that. <laughs> Mind y'all, he got me with the water, but I got him wrapped him up as a mummy. He, <laughs> he woke up and couldn't get up. <laughs> y'all, just, y'all just don't know how it is having a, a mother like I've had. And, 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 and this young mother here, because we do crazy stuff with these kids, too. She takes them out. She she does a lot of stuff with my kids. And we all pretty much help each other grow as far as a family. We are really doing what they say a family raises a child. Yeah, and now, see, uh, see, I'm have to have you know, got me laughing on this I'm stuff. I'm yours over there with, with tyranny. And we would have a stupid time. I'm oh, telling wow. you. I'm telling you. We... We growing up, man. I had so many memories of different. You know how long it take you to catch a bus from Pasadena, California, to L.A. to go to Children's Museum to be there for what? We was out there for about an hour or two. No, we took the bus to Disneyland. We we took the bus to Disneyland. We took the bus everywhere. We sure did. Yeah. Hey, people don't look, y'all. We were so poor sometimes. We put the poor in poor. <laughs> I'm telling you. One time we had a Christmas. We had to cut out our ornaments. Y'all don't know what poor. <laughs> Really means. So I didn't even know what a house was till we got back to Memphis. I promise y'all I didn't. But we had so much fun. I remember this Christmas. I promise you, I cannot remember half the stuff I got for Christmas over my whole entire life. But I remember the Christmas where all I got was a sweet potato pie, a dollar and a half mouse, because I used to raise mice back then. And we had a Christmas tree that she went and got the night of Christmas Eve, because, you know, they, they throw the Christmas trees out then. She going to grab it off the street, time out. <laughs> she done. And then we had to sit there for four hours and cut out ornaments. But we had the best time. That is so fun. Do you know we had the best time? We were stealing cable, too, back then. <laughs> we were not stealing <laughs> <laughs> We had, that was the, the Christmas I will always remember. In my heart, it's probably one of the best Christmases that I've actually ever had. We had nothing. We had each other. Mm-hmm. And that's what y'all, the young people, don't understand. And sometimes we have nothing. You got the whole world. And people think I'll be lying when I tell them about these things. They were like, man, you went that poor. Shoo. Man. You know, we used to eat on stew for three days. Because we ain't had nothing but about four cans of corn and one piece of chicken that we don't stress, though. I shop better than that now. Be in there sweating, putting hot sauce I on it. Learned how to go ahead and shop <laughs> <laughs> to laugh for food to laugh. That's when I learned about coupons with food stamps. See there, see there. Yep. Using cu- coupons with food stamps, and I still hadn't figured out how does a woman get her hair, her nails, and her feet done on welfare. You got Shaniqua. No change left. You got Shaniqua. <laughs> I didn't have no change. My, remember that time you painted your hair orange? I tried to die. Yeah, it looked look, look like Carrot Top. Just. Yeah, okay, I wore a scarf for a month. And no, you didn't. You wore that hair out there. With <laughs> Mom, Mama had a drop top fade, y'all. I don't even know what a drop top fade is, but she had one. <laughs> but I loved her for it. You know, my mother. We, we, I don't we, think I'll be on your show again. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I want to actually, I want Octavia to, to see where I really come from. That's yeah. why when we get to the poorest of the poor, we, we can't do something or we can't do this or we live in check to check. That and even with you working that hard, sometimes you still live in check to check, and it's hard, man. Well, let me tell you of a situation that I went. Mm-hmm. Um, I had gotten kicked out. Had mm-hmm. two kids. Um, 
and I was literally living from job to job. Right. I didn't have a place to go or anything. Thank God for the daycare that my kids are in. You know, they were able to stay there longer for longer hours. You know, um, when I would get off of work from FedEx, I would have to stay up there, catch a bus, which didn't run until about 6 o'clock. And I got off about 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then I would have to catch a bus to the Hickory Ridge Mall. I would have to walk from the Hickory Ridge Mall all the way to the neighborhood Walmart on Hickory Hill, which is where I sat and waited till Burger King opened up. As soon as Burger King opened up, I helped out on the first shift, and pretty much it was like that for a good month. Mm -hmm. Didn't have no place to go. On the weekends, you know, whatever little money I had, I would go get a room for me and the kids to go get some sleep and everything, and it wore me out. Mm -hmm. But one thing that I can honestly say to the to the young mothers out there, try. Push yourself because you're going to end up using a lot of energy and you're going to wonder where all of that came from. Your love for your kids should be the number one priority in your life and right. your, for yourself. Right. You and, and y'all, I think I know this story because I think I'm the one who kicked out. Yeah, you did. And the reason why I did was so you can you could do better but see the, that's the thing a lot of people when when you have a help system mm -hmm. you know you got a lot of people out there helping you right that's pretty much all you're gonna get you know every time you fall there's always gonna be someone there to help you but it doesn't teach you anything it doesn't teach you nothing at all and it doesn't make you strong it actually makes you just stay there where you're comfortable mm -hmm. as soon as your help starts pulling away from you that's when your mind has to start working that's when you have to start making your own plans. Okay, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? You know what? I'm going to pick up extra hours. It might mean less time with the kids, but until we can get our feet put back on the ground, I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, and everyone loves the kids. Right. You know, ain't no one ever going to let the kids, you know, be out there. You know, and I thank God for my help system. You know, for you, all my family, for you to... <laughs> you know, um, all of y'all are real positive people in my life. Y'all you know, might get on my nerves sometimes, but you know. That's family. That's, that's family. That's it, normal. It's so if, normal. If we don't get on each other's nerves, then we don't we don't care nothing about each other. But one thing about it is, as soon as your help leaves you, a lot of the stuff that the people that were helping you says starts making sense. Right. And that's when you start to grow up. That's when you start to mature when you actually prioritize your priority right you know my kids are first you know and i might not have that much time with them but i know what i'm trying to do you will get that time you know that right oh i'm gonna get that time you know I, that right I'm, I'm looking for that one job uh-huh <laughs> that one job that way uh -huh. i could be at home with the kids playing games cooking dinner tuck them in read them a story have game night have movie night you know all of that but Right now, any time that I get with them is precious to me. Yeah. And it took that moment of um, letting you go to bring you back, bring you to the reality that it's a, your responsibility. Mama, exactly. get a little closer to the mic, please. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so that it's it is Loud your as responsibility. You are. <laughs> and so with that with that understanding, I have to say that, uh, and I don't hear myself. You can. I can. I can hear you. You can hear me. Okay. <laughs> When you can be angry with your family and they still are there in your time of need, you know that you have family. Yep. Uh, and one of the things that, um, now Marcus, now what happened to you happened to Marcus. Right. Okay, so yeah. when he got out the army, he was in that moment of. Um, I don't know what to do. Uh, he was crazy. He was cussing his mother out, cussing his grandmother out. He was not happy with this world. He was it's angry true. that we didn't do more for him and we had to do. And I'm like, okay. So when he got out the military and he came, to, he, he called me on the phone. He says, Mama, can I stay with you? I said, oh, heck no. 
Ain't nobody but you. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta make it on your own. Cause I mean, had he had children, mm -hmm. the children could have come. Right. But he couldn't. Right. Yeah. And so he was gonna have to make a choice that particular day. And he reminded me later on, you made me sleep in my car that night. Uh, I didn't do that. No, but did you know? Now this is what I want to say. And because of what the show is reflecting on, on on single mothers, um, raising men, and me. Being a man, um, yes, I slept in a U-Haul truck for about three or four days. I didn't know it was three or four days. Oh yeah, I, oh I slept in that U-Haul truck. They they were about to report it stolen. I slept in that U-Haul truck and pulled up to a couple of houses and, and got me a long cord and ran me some electricity out there. <laughs> <laughs> but my father also told me you can eat, but you can't stay here. Two bulls can't be in the same pen. So I figured I called my mom. He was like, uh, you need to talk to James. This is what my mother said. You need to talk to James. So I called James. I said, uh, James, look, I just need about 30 days to stay with somebody and get up, get on my feet, give me an apartment, give me a job, and, you know, I'll be out your hair. He said, uh, two bulls can't be in the same pen. <laughs> I said, God damn, I ain't going to get no help. I was so mad at my mother. I was mad at my father. But the fact was, they had helped me so much before, you know, trying to, push me out the nest and I just keep grabbing back on yeah. because they would help me all the time and we cut the string they cut them strings so fast and then my back hit that ground exactly. that's why I knew what would help what would work with you that's why I knew that it's because I had to do it it's not because I didn't have to do it oh your mama uh, the most mad uh, at me they can, hated me can we Whoa. now say that um, woman up and man up is adulthood up. right exactly right and oh, or just make it is, a turn you don't have to have, actually have to be an adult understanding you don't have to actually be an adult yes, to know that you do. want to get somewhere. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You have to be an adult I'm to be you. able to handle the responsibilities of getting somewhere. Wow. Okay. To okay, make then. a plan. Now, go ahead, to Mom. grow from being a child to a teenager and then an adult. Yeah. It is a transition that we all have to make. Not just men and not just women. Right. But as it is all of us that have to make that transition from childhood to adulthood. And that mm -hmm. means putting those childhood things away. Put them aside, and yeah. And put them aside and now decide. When you what ain't got no gonna, help, who gonna help me? There you go. Yeah. I'm gonna help me. And so, I'm gonna do something for me. And it I'm doesn't get mean that you have to be angry about it. Mm -hmm. You have to be settled and decide what you're gonna do Well, you ain't got it. no choice. When ain't nothing there for you. Okay. Exactly. You either gonna go anger up. Anger ain't gonna supply the yeah. food. You either gonna go up or you gonna go down. Hey, and anger is not gonna put no shit on your I ended up a little bit feet. after that living um, right there on Airways and Winchester. They were shooting. Was it Airways? Yeah. yeah. Airways and yeah. Winchester. I had to sleep in the tub. Mm -hmm. They were shooting that much. I'm in the tub, sleep every night. Yeah. Water just. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> they was breaking into my house so bad that I took my TVs with me to work. I understand when you say working two jobs, I used to go right on down there, downtown. I used to have to get in my car, drive all the way downtown, mm -hmm. work at Spaghetti Warehouse for eight hours. I would get done with Spaghetti Warehouse, come home, have long enough to take a shower, and then I had to go all the way to Mississippi from 7 at night to 7 in the morning to be a security guard. So I, I know Some that. Flight. Yeah, yeah, Some yeah. Tight, right. tight. Some king of the world, Craig. <laughs> we king of the world. But, I mean, I went through that. You know, I had nobody. I didn't have any kids or anything like that. But at the same time, man, I, I felt like nothing was going to be good for me. I think the only thing that somebody gave me during that time was uh, a friend of mine, uh, Corey Goins, actually gave me some. Line one. Actually gave me some food stamps. And <laughs> I, was e I was eating rice. That's all I had. Because dollar rice.